Hi there, welcome to class. Do you have paper handy? You do? Great, 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 great. We're going to talk about two items today, okay? So yes, you will need paper so you could jot down the items so you have them for yourselves, okay? You're ready? Oh, you got your pen? You got your pencil? Okay, let's do this. Let's start right here. You need to continue with the, um, the Brooks essay by writing paragraphs three through five. Yes, three paragraphs are due today. Three paragraphs, paragraph three, paragraph four, and paragraph five, okay? Which means that, guess what? The draft will be done and you'll be able to write the final copy. Yes, indeed, isn't that exciting? Oh, it is. Uh, you're excited. Oh, that's great. Okay, another essay down. Several more to go. Oh, I, 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 oh, I know. I know. Okay, so make sure that you understand. Um, I do not want to see paragraphs one and two again at this time. Okay, I just want to see paragraphs three, four, and five. Nothing else. Do we understand? Yes, good. So as soon as you're done with those three paragraphs, I need you to send them to me immediately, immediately, today. Okay. Any questions about the essay paragraphs? No, nothing at all? Fantastic. So let's go on to the final test material. Okay, the final test is on December 18. And I need you to review the various readings, the literary elements, and the punctuation. Please remember, you should have notes. There are videos that you can rewatch and listen to again. And if you have any questions, any questions whatsoever, please contact me. Okay? So as soon as you're done, with the paragraphs, please prepare yourself for the final test. Please study, okay? Please, please do. So, remember the literary elements. We'll start with that. Such as theme, point of view, okay? Elements such as those. Remember, go through them. Try to figure out is theme the same as moral? Is moral the same as theme? What are characters all about? What makes up the plot? Okay. What is a simile? So please review that material. Also, go through the punctuation marks. You've got the comma, the semicolon, the colon the period, the question mark, and finally, the exclamation point. Go through the rules. Make sure you know the rules and you understand how to use the marks correctly in your writing. Okay, make sure you, you understand all that. Remember, items in a series, that final comma before and, or, Okay, keep that in mind. Think about the CCs. In other words, boys fan, the coordinate conjunctions. Think about the subordinate conjunction. Think about the use of the semicolon. Two complete thoughts. In other words, ICs that are linked. Or the use of the conjunctive adverb with the semicolon. Semicolon, however, comma. And don't forget the colon, okay, with the listing and the, and the like. And think about the question mark. Is everything you say a question? I wonder if she meant that. Is that a question? Yes, indeed, the period ends. So please make sure you use those periods. And don't forget. Woo! Exclamation point. Lots of motion. So please, please review. 
so that you know how to use this material correctly, properly. All right, let's look at our readings. My name is Electra. Wonderful family, right? What, again, is the attitude of the father toward the mother? What is he showing Electra about women? The most dangerous game. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So think about the two. The general versus Rainsford. What happens at the end? Who wins the game? Okay. Answer Letha. Wonderful lesson taught in that story, isn't it? Sometimes you really have to give a person a chance to really understand that person and appreciate that person, which again happens to the father with Zaya at the end, doesn't it? The narrator finally realizes, wow, the father is softening, he's changing. He finally understands that Sir Letha really was a kind person, a wonderful person. And yes, indeed, we have Brooks's poem that we're still working on at this point. The Bean Eaters. Another wonderful lesson is taught, isn't it? Okay. And I'm not talking a moral, right? I'm not talking about the definition of moral. Because you're thinking lesson taught, must be moral. What do we learn there? What is Brooks trying to tell us? What is the point of the Bean Eaters? Okay. So, yes, we are talking about poverty. We are looking at a couple's, uh, at their life, the little details of their life. Okay, are they, are they appreciated, these two elderly people? So please, again, review everything and be prepared to take this test on the 18th. Okay, if you have any questions, any whatsoever, please contact me. And don't forget those paragraphs. I am looking forward to them. Okay? I do hope you have a great day. Till next time, bye-bye.